our next guest is an Emmy-winning actor, you know, from Friday Night Lights, Bloodline, and from the movies, too, his newest, George Clooney's The Midnight Sky premieres December 23rd on Netflix. Please welcome Kyle Chandler. Yeah. Hi, Kyle. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Well, this wow. is very interesting. Wow. Very good, sir. How are you? How are you? I'm good. You've got the voice of God right now. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, it's really? really booming. You've got the beard of God as uh, well. Is that for a, oh. a role, or have you just have you given up? No, I just forgot to shave this morning. <laughs> uh, no, yes, of course, it's for it's for a role, and I was told to uh, keep some stubble. And yeah. Then um, I didn't hear back, and the, the the film was pushed down the line a little bit, and I didn't hear anything, so I kept growing it, and. Finally, I called up and I said, do you want me to just grow it out? And they said, yeah, go ahead. So this is, this is what it is now. I, I kind of like it. Is it kind of a weird thing? I think most humans don't experience a situation in which somebody else tells them what their hair should be like. Like, this is what's going to be on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is kind of straight. I'm waiting for that role where someone says, you need to gain 30 pounds. Yeah. Is that, that never happens either. <laughs> Would that be? Would that make you happy, or would that bum you out knowing you then have to get rid of it? I'd be so happy. You that would. would be great. Oh, I've got a menu already set up in my mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know if you're aware of this on the subject of hair, but your director and co-star from The Midnight Sky, George Clooney, was here last week, and he's he's using a flow beat to cut to give himself a haircut, and he's been doing it. He says for many many years. Yeah, that's. Odd. <laughs> I mean, he's, I mean, I don't like paying 30 bucks for a haircut, but I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, 30 bucks for a haircut. Have you ever ordered a product from television? A product from television? Yeah, like um, that stuff they advertise late at night on the cables, you know? What are you talking Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. My wife is in the room and she's going, the butt thing. The what? butt thing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're not talking about uh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about that. No, sir. <laughs> oh, my. I'm, uh, I'll tell you later. Okay, all right. We may have to have her on the show every time you're on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is your, what, third, third movie with George Clooney, right? Or third, actually, what, uh, you did a, a TV show with him. You did uh, Catch-22 with him. And what else did you guys do together? Uh, well, he, he produced Argo. And Argo, right. On, on Argo. Right. And then, right. Uh, yeah, then 22 and then this. Uh, at what point do you become one of the friends that he gives a million dollars to? Do you know? <laughs> I tried to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You were one of the sexiest men alive well before George Clooney was the sexiest man alive. And um, we actually have, uh, why don't you tell us about, about this? Now, that's not you. <laughs> That, that, no, that's not me. That's I not you. Admit, but this is from me. 1992, September, and inside you got John Corbett, and then uh, yeah. if we could zoom in, we got Kyle Chandler right there. Yeah. Oh, darn, what a handsome devil that is. <laughs> Do you have a copy oh, yes. of this, this magazine? Uh, seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I selected one of the quotes. It says, Kyle Chandler has that prell hair, controlled pout, and hurt hazel eyes. The rest of him could moonlight as a Chippendales dancer. You're damn right, Jimmy. <laughs> it also said you were single and looking for love. Is that how you met your wife uh, and got into whatever butt things that um, you... <laughs> Well, Jimmy, it is, actually. Uh, it is, wow. <laughs> I, I sent out that call, um, yeah. Uh, you know, this thing about George, though, I'd like to step back, you know. Yeah, go ahead. I can't tell you, doing this movie with him, uh, how many wonderful things I've had to come up to say about him. Ah, yes. But let's just, let's get one thing straight. You know, he talks quite often about being the sexiest, uh, sexiest man alive, twice. Indeed. But you know what? Twice is only two more times than you and I have got. <laughs> and I had my sexiest, well, one of the ten sexiest guys of the year back in 91. When did his come out? 
I have no idea. 97 or oh. so, I think. <laughs> yeah, you definitely beat him to it, although I do want to say it was 1992, not to split hairs. Uh, well, that's yes, okay it was 1992. <laughs> hey, one of the guys checking the, uh, uh, your connection beforehand told me you have like a, uh, some kind of a night vision goggles behind you. Are those those, is that the black thing that you have back there? I do, yeah. Yeah, what you are those seen for? Those? Yeah, I, well, I've seen them in like sharper image catalog or something, but what do you do, what do you do oh. with that? No, this is a, so you turn it on, it goes dark. Yeah. Then you turn it on, you can see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this, it, it's, 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 it's a monocle, uh -huh. and it's used. It's the same night vision that they use over in Afghanistan and Iraq. I mean, it's a really quality piece. And I had a friend of mine when I was doing Bloodline down in Florida, and he showed me this at nighttime. And we used it on the boats when we'd be out, out at night on the boats. It was very helpful. But also, when you when you when you aim it up at the sky, if you're seeing if you're seeing a thousand stars. This will multiply it times another thousand. It's absolutely incredible how clear it goes through. But um, as well, I use it out, out here on the property uh, to. Uh, well, I go out like I've got a. Uh, I've got an armadillo that I chased the other night. <laughs> it's, it's putting holes in the in the property, uh, or you can. Uh, my wife said I can't talk about the donkeys anymore, but I like trying to sneak up on the donkeys out in the pasture at night. That's fun, and uh, or trying to trying to walk up on deer and. I mean, it's just amazing. You can see it's, it's, it's daytime. It's absolutely amazing. That's what I use it for. Is it a good idea to sneak up on a donkey? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who could have more fun than that, sir? <laughs> well, I don't know. But... <laughs> what do you do with your evenings? <laughs> I don't know, but I, it sounds like it's something I would definitely give a try. I'd probably and wouldn't sneak up from the rear, but you know how that goes. So um, the midnight sky, it's really good. Have you had a chance to see the I whole have. thing? You have, yeah. Catherine, Catherine and I watched it the other night uh, about five nights ago, and uh, it, it was spectacular. It was very interesting. Um, it was just real quick. It was very interesting finishing that movie in February, knowing what you had made, knowing what the script was, and then right. coming home. And over the last ten months, how the themes of that movie were accentuated. Uh, unfortunately, I yeah. should add, but it was a complete different movie, and it, the emotional, the emotional levels on it, it it's, it's. I could, it's I could incredible. not get over how, how much it really like spoke to what is happening right now, especially knowing that it had absolutely nothing to do. You finished it before all of this started. It, it really does go to show, you know, the timing when movies are made to yeah. when they come out. It's, it's, a, it's a huge factor in, in how a film plays. And I understand that um, if you watch The Midnight Sky with night goggles, it's like yeah. a thousand times better. There's Easter eggs everywhere. <laughs> the Midnight Sky premieres December 23rd on Netflix. Kyle Chandler. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate it. Hey. Good to see you. Happy New Year, guys. You too. We'll be right back with Sturgill Simpson. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.